So, when people ask me, is Marvel's Avengers good? The correct answer is no. Especially at $60. Even if this didn't have bugs, and that's a huge if, this game has Avengers on the box. But in reality, it's a Miss Marvel game with Avengers cameos and Kate Bishop as the first planned DLC hero. Delayed, of course. After you play that campaign once, that's right, one time, you still, after two months, cannot replay it. So, two villains, one enemy type, and zero Marvel locations are what you have to look forward to in this game. The villain part is always what surprises people too. It wouldn't have taken anything for them to model some D-list losers and throw them in, but no. I assure them that, no for real. <laughs> There's no Loki, no Ultron, no Red Skull, no Asgard, no Avengers Tower, no space maps, nothing. It's a looter with trash loot. And I mean irrelevant loot. Bug fixes instead of content. Soon instead of communication. No crossplay, no join in progress, no doubling up on heroes, no MCU or comic book skins, no sense. There's a spectrum of players here. To the far left you have the defenders who will play this game no matter what. It's just a beta. It'll get patched. These things take time. I got my money's worth. These unpaid NPCs run damage control and even if the game were to shut down right now, they'd continue to defend it. You can play with a ball of poop for hours on end and convince yourself that you got your money's worth, but at the end of the day, it's still poop. In the middle of the spectrum you have players like me. Boredom, disposable income, not a super fan, but a fan nonetheless. Honestly still shocked at the incompetence on display here. Buggy, broken at launch. Honestly, that's kinda typical, it's not too big a surprise. But no campaign replay? Wait a minute. That's the mode you polish the most, right? Maybe you have dope skins. You know, something to fluff up the marketplace. No? I mean... Well, at least you guys have some villains, right? To what? Too many? Just two? <laughs> well, you're probably gonna dump content in, like you promised, right? In your words, weeks, not months. Right? Two months later, people are expecting a roadmap, but it's not coming. Soon is all you have to tell people. Kamala Khan the game and Kate Bishop as the first DLC hero was never going to appeal to the far right end of the spectrum who are normal players. There's nothing wrong with these girls and the pinwheel hat wearing defenders on the far left will consume whatever slop you set before them, but it doesn't take business consciousness to recognize that they are not powerful enough draws to hang this game on and if given the choice, players would pick others over them every single time. This is where your average player sits. They don't even care particularly about Marvel. They just want a good game with rewarding, fun, and varied gameplay. But when they watch streamers, YouTubers, memes, and videos showcasing how unbelievably unfinished your whack video game is, they don't need to be Neo to dodge it. Listen, whoever did the combat in this game, respect. Your team is single-handedly keeping this whole ass game afloat. I am among the camp of people who genuinely would love to see Doctor Strange or Scarlet Witch in this game, and you've given us something to hope for. But you know what ruins it? Everything else. Knowing they'll most likely be ugly because of this game's allergy to what looks good, wondering if there'll even be a patrol or a replayable game mode worthy of even playing by the time that they're included, and to be incredibly honest, unless they're the hero choices for directly after Black Panther, there's no certainty that they will even be put in the game if they aren't ahead of Spider-Man. 
This game has suffered a death blow, self-inflicted, and it's on life support right now. And the potential for recovery depended greatly on selecting a direction significantly less foolish than this. It depended on the preservation of good faith among players you failed to retain with non-existent communication, players who are well within their right to be upset with broken promises and a defective product that they might have assumed could never be this bad with Disney and Marvel behind it. I took to every social media for this game. I voiced my frustrations, I offered critique. I suggested solutions and fixes to the unsatisfying elements of this service. And for my troubles, I've been banned. My posts have been removed. Like I'm personally attacking people that I couldn't give two dupes about? Because they are desperate for social interaction. I'm not even talking to you. Guess what, Crystal Dynamics? You can ignore the man, but you can't ignore the fans. Ignoring me won't make me go away. But ignoring how to make this game not shit, it'll continue to make players go away. You tried to make Destiny in 2020 and did it worse than Destiny did six years ago. You had years to develop this game, but we're the jerks for calling out this mess that you charge $60 for because fires? Listen. Most of us didn't want to pay to be beta testers for your bucket of crap, and even though some gamers have goldfish memory, they're starting to remember how far $60 can actually go. So thank you for the ban. I hope you like these optics. Let's see if ignoring the players helps you succeed. I sure hope your refusal to use and properly portray heroes people actually want pays off in the end. You know it's bad when you can't even get a shop right. Good luck, people. Not in rebuilding your player base, you're way in over your head. Good luck rebuilding your reputation, because if I'm toxic for putting morons stepping into my line in their place, I learned it from you. Because your name is Poison. Wow, 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 wow,